Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit, we want to take a look at equal spacing and dimensioning to control model geometry. So we're going to take a look at how to create equal spacing, how to lock objects together so everything move at the same time, and how to use dimension to control the geometry. So let's start looking into Revit so we can see our process. So we want to put the equal spacing for the geometry of this window. So I change the color, it's more visible. And if you want to change the color of any object, you can hit VV. Uh, basically open up the visibility graphics. You can go the model categories, find a model. You can change the line patterns, transparency, and any of the uh model elements you can change so this is more visible you can see all the windows so in order to put um annotation aligned and when you hover over you can find the middle of the window on an object so this is must be continuous effort of putting all the dimension back to back of, of the object that you want to have the equal spacing so when you're down just click outside of an object um, basically put everything so you can see they have a different dimensions of the windows we're getting center of all and also the padlock is a constraint if you want to put any constraint on that element you can kind of use the padlock but on top you can see the equal it has a, like a cross line through it so if you want to make everything equal it's better to just kind of click on the equal so when you basically have everything on you can go on the equal and then you can see change everything to the equal sizes so this is going to be the dimension centered the center of an object and has the equal spacing so right now let me hit the modify basically coming out of this and if you want to delete so right now the main thing that you guys want to know is everything is kind of connected because we constrained all the objects so if i move one off the window the other ones is going to move so this is going to be connected to each other and because we constrain everything through the eq which is the equal spacing between object so let me hit delete so when you hit delete it, if you want to get rid of them you can get um, a note so if you hit okay it basically just deleted but you still have the constraint on but if you had unconstrained it's going to take away the constraint i'm going to hit okay right now and i'm going to move one of the windows so you guys can see there is no dimension on it i just delete the dimension but the constraint is still in there so this is something that is really really important and if you see something like that there is a button that calls it reveal constraint so if you click on that one it basically shows all removed or deleted constraints of any geometry or any object in revit and this is going to be really really helpful for you to see why uh, these objects are kind of connected. Is it something in there that is removed or not? This is going to be really, really helpful for you um, to basically identify what's going on. So let me click that back on. So right now I can see all equal spacing. I'm going to remove the equal spacing right now. And then you can kind of put everything back. So if you don't see it on the actual window, you can hit that and you'll be able to see. So if I remove the equal, I can kind of move this stuff individually. There is no constraint anymore. I removed it and I can basically move the object individually and... Um, it's not going to be connected to each other because the constraint has been removed so let me go back to annotation tab and align so if you have a lot of them if you want to basically just only do a few like let me just do these three um same thing you have only three objects i'm gonna make sure those are kind of into each other connected i'm hitting the equal i'm constraining all of this and if you notice i'm working in the reveal constraint windows right and right now if i get out of that you'll be able to see it because i haven't deleted any of them so right now i'm going to remove it and then unconstrain so the constraint is removed and right now i can move them so if i move one window by itself this is going to be easily moved without affecting other geometry on other object so this is really helpful to adjust objects thank you guys for watching today's episode 
I'm hoping that I was able to show you a few tips and tricks that can help your daily workflow. If you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.